Last year, they, they made all the good plays, but I think we were, um, on a given night, a, a team that could have played with them. But uh, they had their night, and we got to try and have our night. We have the same defense pretty much coming back. We've lost a couple guys, uh, but we've replaced those guys successfully. Right. So I think our defense will be tough like they were last year against Tustin. You never know. It's a football game. 11 guys playing. Um, it doesn't always go the way that people predict it. So we're just excited to be playing. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, tell you the truth. And I think the, maybe, it, maybe it may even be a track meet going up and down the field, but uh, we hope we uh, end up with more points at the end. But it should be a great matchup. The Eagles were looking to complete a perfect season and win their second consecutive Division V championship. The Tillers were also undefeated, and they wanted revenge. Tustin was beaten badly by Santa Margarita in last year's semifinals. Deshaun Foster seemed especially motivated. The Tustin senior was perhaps the biggest star on a night that featured several. <laughs> The opening kickoff went to the Tillers, and Foster made his presence felt right away. He'd carry the ball seven times on an eight-play, 80-yard opening drive. This 25-yard touchdown run gave Tustin the early lead. The Tillers would miss the extra point. Nonetheless, it was only the third time all season that Santa Margarita trailed on the scoreboard. The Eagles were flying through the air once they got the football. Senior quarterback Carson Palmer led a 77-yard opening drive that started and finished with wideout Greg Orlando. There was also some good stuff in between. The Eagles' first touchdown was a 25-yard pass from Palmer to Orlando. The point after gave Santa Margarita the lead, but not for long. The focus was back on Foster, and the Santa Margarita defense, which had allowed less than 10 points per game, was trying valiantly to hold him off. Andrew Holstein with this play. But the 6'2", 205-pound Foster was unstoppable, at least on this night. The 25-yard touchdown run capped off a six-play, 70-yard drive. The Tillers then tried a two-point conversion. Quarterback Todd Scott with the keeper. The two-point conversion put Tustin back on top with just over two minutes left in the opening quarter. The shootout shifted to Palmer and the Eagles, who wasted little time scoring. Under pressure, Palmer connects with Michael Gorman, a 42-yard touchdown pass, and with less than a minute remaining in the first quarter, the game's tied at 14. Tillers take possession and keep it on the ground. Fullback David Little for eight yards. Then it's Foster busting loose again and again. And we start quarter number two like we ended number one. Tiller fans, and there were plenty of them, happy to see their team back on top. Tustin again failed on the extra point. 20-14 the score. Palmer then gets real lucky. Joey Gibson can't hold on, and it would prove costly. On fourth and three from the Tustin 46-yard line, Palmer to John Minardi. Meanwhile, it appeared that the Tustin ground game was still clicking. Here, the fake to Foster and a big game for Julius Williams. Finally, the Santa Margarita defense stiffened. The Eagles would not allow a point for the rest of the half. They'd force the Tillers to punt for the first time in the game. Santa Margarita would not have to punt. Here's Palmer to Minardi, another big game close to midfield. Then the ground game got in gear. Bryant Wolfsberger with several good runs on this drive. Wolfsberger, who'd finished with over 100 yards rushing in the game, cashed in to make the score 28-20. The Eagles led 31-20 at halftime. 
The defending CIF champions did not let up in the second half. Here's the first play from scrimmage. The Eagles eventually settled for a 27-yard field goal by Nick Sparks. The kick enabled Sparks to set the Orange County single-season record of 111 points. It also enabled Santa Margarita to move in front by 14. Scott. Tustin quarterback Todd Scott shook off that blow. A couple plays later, he found Foster, who continued to amaze. A 28-yard gain to the Eagle 14-yard line. Foster then scored his fourth touchdown. It capped off a 14-play, 80-yard drive. The Tillers again missed the two-point conversion. Tustin within eight, the Tillers would get no closer. Santa Margarita answered just five plays later. Palmer to Minardi, second touchdown for Minardi. He'd finish with six catches for 124 yards. 41-26 the score. Palmer closing in on a 400-yard passing day. And Tustin coach Myron Miller knows that his team can't keep up. But someone forgot to tell Foster. A remarkable 29-yard run to end quarter number three. Early in the final quarter, Scott, on fourth down, fakes the punt and throws for Foster. Things would continue downhill for Tustin. With 3.30 remaining, Palmer delivers his fifth touchdown pass, a 25-yard strike to O'Gorman. The junior wideout collected five catches for 127 yards. The Eagles rack up 55 points and set the county single season record of 651 in the process. Meanwhile, Foster carried the ball 36 times for 377 yards. He also scored half a dozen touchdowns. It's the fourth best rushing performance in county history. Foster also set the single season rushing record with nearly 3,400 yards. Great football team. Thank you. Great job, gentlemen. That's been an incredible week. I don't know if you can get a better week uh, like this in your life. Uh, it's a great, a great week, and uh, I want to say hi to my wife and my baby Gemma. I'm just real proud of my guys. We gave them a game. That's all we wanted to do tonight. You know, Foster, Foster's the best football player, best you know running back I've ever seen, and uh, uh, we pushed the ball to him, and uh, he played both ways tonight. I mean, he's phenomenal. I mean, I I thought we had the thing won. Uh, with about three minutes left to go in the game, and then here he goes, breaks another one. So, I mean, he's just a phenomenal running back. And, uh, you know, he got knocked around, banged up. He got back up. He's a phenomenal running back. He's going to have a great career uh, wherever he goes. He had a great career at Tustin. And, well, I'm glad he's gone because uh, we've been fighting to stop him forever. He had a phenomenal game, and hats off to him and that whole Tustin team. They just outgunned us. Um, I think there was only two times we didn't score, and they scored every time. That's the difference in the ball game. But I'm really uh, very uh, happy to have been in the finals and very happy to have played a pretty good game tonight. I think it makes up for a lot for last year that we, we got embarrassed so badly. So I'm happy. I'm not disappointed at all.